London with Bitcoin Spike and VIP Trader. Yesterday, I let you know for hourly, we were on a buy line. Did anyone catch it? I know our VIP did. Today, also on our indicator, we hit another buy line on the hourly. This is our trade setup. Welcome. I'm London, former hedge fund owner, private, not SEC, not financial advice. We're going to go over the technicals again today. Let's review in terms of the specifics. Now, uh, very important. Venus, I want to talk about Venus, just beautiful trade. She picked up at the four hour buy line. Yesterday, I was hoping we'd get down to a fire sale line below. We did not. It was a beautiful entry on the four hourly, a 6%, over a 6%, well over 6% move. Bam, Venus, way to trade. That is VIP. That's why we would love you to join the number one trade group. Now, we have an assessment, and guys, I don't plug the group. I want for the record and always have wanted and it's why we get it guys just to let you know it's not a plug it is not a uh, as we would look at you know well shamelessly going after what the number one traders in crypto and beyond that's who we want in our group guys intensely that's who we want in our group so when you hear me say we want you to join today if you want to beat the market with the number one tools for instance, the New York Institute of Finance, you bet it. Guys, if you want to succeed, if you want to be number one, we want you in our trade group, bottom line. Former hedge fund owner, that would be me, guys. Private, non-SEC, and not financial advice. Now, the one hourly chart is the most concerning. I'm going to say the most concerning and the most interesting right now for Bitcoin. After the pickup on the four hourly, let me clean this up just a bit so you can take a look at it, but we'll go through everything in the chart right now, okay? Descending triangulation is in play. Now, I have been walking through VIP in the back of a reversal amidst the specific, amidst the specific uh, descending triangulation. And that is identified by this flat bottom support. Let's clear up and take off for right now, just for right now, our specific indicator only for the VIP. Guys, and I'll tell you, if you, if you break the rules, I'm going to tell you, if you break the rules in the VIP, you are out. No apologies. We state the rules up front. We are not a discord. We are not a fly-by-night uh, talk about conspiracy theories or anything else. Guys, we are a fundamentally driven trade group, number one trade group, bottom line. So I have no qualms about kicking people out of VIP, nor have I ever asked the VIP. And it's for VIP protection. So a few people have gotten kicked out last couple of days. I don't want to hear. And guys, I'm going to tell you. I don't want to hear speculation or rumors or suspicion or conjecture or what do we call it? Uh, conspiracy theories about FTX. I want to trade. I want to be engaged in technicals right now. If you distract our group, if you distract our VIP with social media plugs or paste or conspiracy theories, boom, you are gone. Like out. Sayonara. Zero apologies. I want our traders focused on the next big trade. So zero apologies, guys. That's who we are. Now, in terms of the technicals, let's focus on the technicals. But guys, you know me. I, I, no remorse. Absolutely no remorse. Don't distract our traders, bottom line. Now, in terms of this level of support, level of support, you see that flat bottom support here. You see a nice challenge about to go along this top line resistance. Now, how is that accomplishing, uh, guys, how is that being accomplished? Let's dig into particularly, I'd say, like the 30-minute We'll take off a few more features so that you can focus and guys hope you're having a good start to your week. I know the FTX maybe has everybody in a bit of a panic, but guys, we want to trade bottom line, whichever direction the market chooses to go in. We're going to trade. If it wants to go up, we're going to trade. If it wants to go down, we're going to trade. Some people say that few people do it. I say a lot of people say that few people do it. We're one of the ones that do so guys. It's just our mojo. It's the way that we are. I want to welcome uh, Will. Is a brand new, uh, brand new uh, VIP. Exciting to have him in uh, the back. Will, I know you you hammered a trade today for what was that? Over two hundred percent. His first day, guys. Will, his first day over two hundred percent. And check out Venus. I know you got that seven hundred percent. And yes, she wasn't done with just that. Another hundred and sixty-six percent. Multiple trades going on in the back. And guys, not light trades. Not little baby trades. Not practice trades. Real trades. Some of the biggest trades in crypto, boom, they belong to VIP, bottom line. Now, let's talk about the requirements for a fan. Let's go over this very quickly in terms of a reversal pattern so that you'll understand this. Uh, let's dig into the details. And guys, we're glad to be back in our HQ. Uh, shout out to uh, AJ Crypto. Nice to have you interact a bit in the back. I know you've been busy with business. I hope that's clearing up so you can trade some more. 
soon we want to see you trading now let's go into the four hourly for instance the four hourly is an interesting time frame right now anytime that you're looking for a reversal what we want to achieve is the following we want to identify and let's take off this descending triangulation for a moment as well I may have locked that give me two seconds let's unlock that okay in terms of the specifics on the four hourly I noticed this and I brought it to the attention of the VIP now a fan reversal what is a fan reversal first of all what you're going to need to identify is a level of resistance all right now a level of resistance that is flipped into boom a level of support okay you need to identify the seat of the fan that will be the common array element pay attention guys this is New York Institute of Finance where Wall Street goes to school uh, in terms of the referencing of this pattern formation so the seat will be this array function usually it's a pivot okay usually it's a pivot we'll draw a level of resistance down we'll see that it's confirmed boom a support we'll thereafter identify the next level of resistance you see this guys the next level of resistance between pivot one pivot two and then boom this also established as a level of support then we'll do the next guys the next pivot from this central focal array here the seat of the fan then bam into this level of I'd say a price trajecting up and over rather this level of resistance what will the question be now the question for the traders will be the following as we look at this reversal procedure and we've been focused on this in the back guys this is VIP stuff this is very very nicely done in the back great to see this specific move but yes the question is going to be can bulls push up enough given the descending triangulation dynamics on the one hourly on the one hourly on the hourly time frame you have the flat bottom it's contraindicated with a bit of an ascension here on the four hourly pay attention so the question is going to be the following okay when you see the trajectory up over another level of the fan I'll tell you right now orders are parked where pay attention guys pay attention orders longs are parked at this specific level here boom okay now why is that because mm -hmm. it's the dynamic that is ongoing between resistance flip to support resistance that secondary line you see if I remove this you will see let's get into that line right here um the specifics uh, let me tighten that up just a touch but from that array function you see a resistance with a hit okay pivot hit pivot down into a level of support so the resistance flipped again into support so that happened twice here all right that happened here and let me go ahead and remove these other lines so that you can see and we build these lines guys as the specific levels this one two three combo I'm going to tell you as the bulls are slowly breaking lines of resistance flipping them to support another line of resistance flip to support another line of resistance flip to support you can see the progression ongoing that yes uh bulls are there they're pushing up and breaking through lines of resistance that's the guys that's what's, what is going to be required for any type of a reversal so let me go ahead and un uh, let me say undo or rewind a bit of this you can see that dynamic at play what I'm going to tell you about fans is to review definitely review Murphy New York Institute of Finance that is literally where Wall Street goes to school okay where Wall Street goes to school the top traders in New York guys yeah the guys that you are trading against that's where they go to school so the other pattern that we've been looking at that's very very interesting let me go ahead and see if I can undo the majority of this to bring that uh, to bring that bell formation back into the picture of exactly where we had it there we go because uh, I had uh, I had edited that just a bit for the VIP in the back and guys were excited about you joining today a little bit uh, a little bit protective of VIP always have been right we don't run a discord we don't run a uh, we just don't run a, a trash group guys we're uh, we got we have some very good professionals and I fight hard for the TA for the top notch uh, guys for the rights to say that we have the number one trade group without a doubt it's just the truth so tis what it is guys take a look at this expansion right here we would call this a bell formation let's again let's see if we can remove let me unlock this specific guys let's remove this specifics on that descending triangulation and we have the fan dynamic in the background I want to talk about the expansion that you're seeing right now increased volatility I always let people know I let the VIP know anytime you see increasing volatility between the buyers on support sellers on resistance we want to be a part of that increasing volatility the odds are stacked guys they are stacked in favor anytime you see that increasing volatility and bulls coming in 
at those increasing levels of volatility the odds are favoring a breakout typically of this level of resistance i do caution i always caution and be happy you know this i always caution against a breakout trade on these patterns all right because if you're looking at a breakout trade i'm going to tell you and guys this just goes this this goes to the to the mantra and vip etc as we would look at a typical breakout trade what percentage of the time on any specific pattern as you're looking at a breakout trade what percentage of the time please listen what percentage of the time does a trader already have a better position than you if you're going for a breakout trade what percentage of the time guys 100 percent of the time listen to me guys 100 percent of the time that you are trading on a pattern someone and you're trading a breakout trade someone else in the market other traders in the market already have a better position than you okay so when we look at me saying i don't encourage traders to go for a breakout trade here it's not that you can't but i want you focused on these better positions a position six percent ago right or this one here three percent ago right if you're long in this specific position uh, not to say you cannot trade a breakout trade but just remember that 100 percent of the time 100 percent of the time that you are trading a breakout trade the other traders in the market already have a better position than you they're relaxed while you're sitting there sweating trying to figure out right if it's going to go your direction or not so we try and pre-position we try and bring you that advanced strategy so that you can really hone your skills and achieve that alpha what is alpha the percentage by which you beat the market let's go into some of the um, the other details here and guys this is our trade setup this is how i blew the power I just did guys I, I completely just uh, blew the power to the, to the whole place um, in terms of this setup it's hugely instrumental and I'll tell you what is being achieved here in terms of our setup and guys I want to talk about first of all we have Bollinger Bands right we have the Bollinger Bands the most critical one right now coming into contact with that 20 moving average on the eight hourly very important can we flip this would be a crucial flip it looks like we're flipping the four hourly right now and this is a tied this is tied back with new york institute of finance okay in terms of flipping that 20 moving average on the eight hourly we'd like to get an upside target okay i will i'll let that uh, that strategy sit in the back with the vip you guys know that strategy look at murphy john j murphy technical analysis of the, of the financial markets now we talked about macd all right we talked about macd where are we at in macd looks like four hourly was rolling up remember guys it rolled underneath uh several times actually once and then twice rolled under again looks like it's trying to head back to the upside you know on the eight hourly we have stayed consistently projecting a bullish divergence into the market that means macd has been going up so any downward price action we've been expressing a bullish divergence noted the daily is still troubling looking at the daily momentum the macd we need this to round if we can get that to round it could be a sweet move guys but right now your 30 minute and your hourly are playing quite well with price okay at those uh, lower time frames now the 200 and the 100 moving averages right now specifically recall that we brought to the attention of and unfortunately it didn't hold but on the daily you will recall we hit that 100 right the 100 moving average boom guys that was a big big move right now the hourly is very relevant the hourly we're challenging that 100 moving average on the hourly very important guys that needs to be flipped for bulls to have a fighting chance just looking at the strategy of the 100 and the 200 moving averages very important we also have the RSIs laid out. The big question here is going to be, will this daily strike down into, guys, oversold territory be enough? I'm going to say, guys, will it be enough to, to act as a reversal rather than a continuation? And any time that you're looking at RSI, Relative Strength Index, I want to encourage you to explore both sides of the equation one is rsi relative strength index is it a continuation uh indicator is it a reversal indicator okay typically rsi oversold or overbought are going to be indicative of momentum it is a momentum based indicator so i encourage you i encourage you to look at an oversold condition as the fact that the sellers have established momentum reinforcing such typically pushing down further with their momentum overbought buyers right over 70 that's either under 30 or over 70 right on the rsi relative strength index 
So over 70 would be overbought, meaning what? The buyers have maintained, guys, or, or have established the the uh, have established momentum that RSI is reflecting overbought, and what is that? We look at it. Well, will that be is striking seventy overbought a reversal? We expect immediate reversal, right? Or is it a continuation? This is a very good discussion, very good discussion, and there's some very good authorities on this issue. What does the New York Institute of Finance say? Is it dependent on time frame? Okay, how does RSI walk up the time frames? Some very good, uh, guys, very good VIP level discussions. We discuss this frequently in the back, but more frequently, listen up, more frequently, the RSI is a momentum indicator, meaning sellers have established momentum, okay? And price would continue with the seller momentum. Or buyers in an over overbought situation over 70 have established momentum, and we would expect that momentum to continue in terms of a continued, uh, continued buying by the uh, buyers. So just an example of what we're going through. Now, we do have laid out, and guys, this is what I, I spend time on. Everything from the 15 second, right, to the minute, to the three minute, to the five minute, to the 15 minute. And guys, I'm bringing that up as well to the 30 minute, the one hourly, the four hourly, the eight hourly, and then the daily with the weekly above. This is the setup where I'm assessing continually for the VIP what is the most efficient and productive and solid lock on guys in terms of our indicators it's it's phenomenally phenomenally uh, achieving results for the VIP congratulations remember to never be overexposed all right and remember to please always focus on those pattern trades that have the highest probability guys if i can if i can get you to focus on Let's say get out of the gray area. These 50-50 splits where you're being, guys, when you're being, you're being enticed to, to decide your trade on, well, it might, a 50-50. Guys, you don't want 50-50. You want those 70% moves. Yeah, you got it right, huh? You want those 80% moves. You can get them. You can find them. That's what VIP is all about. I want to invite you to join today. Guys, in terms of uh, Matic, Matic has a little bit of good price action on going. Nice pattern formations. I want to remind you, whenever you have a breakout potentially of this type of an expansion, understand where are orders parked back down below. Ideal entries are along a level of support anytime that you're in this specific wedge. I want to invite you to join. I also want to invite you to use BTCC Exchange, guys. The longest as we go this through this FTX, you guys know the last several uh, weeks here I've been talking about before the crash of FTX, BTCC. It's the longest standing crypto exchange, period. They have weathered more bear markets than any other exchange. This link right here on our Twitter will get you the opportunity for a $3,500 bonus. It's a great exchange, guys. I highly recommend it. I just I want you to see uh, see how you do on it is the big important thing for me in exchange. I don't care how it looks, guys, but it needs to be a good trading experience. I really like the VIP trading on this uh, BTCC. Also, this link here will get you the opportunity to join, to join VIP once you have joined or if you'll just hit the join button on youtube i need you to go to the first pin tweet put i am vip okay put i am vip once you hit the specific first pin tweet with that it'll put you in touch with me i will put you in the back and you will have access to the indicator you'll have access to the charts curated in the back you'll also have guys access to these just phenomenal phenomenal probability sheets. This is what trading is all about. When I'm talking about percentages, you see the 72%? Yes, 72%, right? So the trade that you see on the screen right now in the background, bam, 72%. Those are the types of odds that you wanna be plugged into. That's the type of, uh, guys, uh, the mindset, the approach. You know, what's the percentage? You may want something to go up, but what's the percentage of it uh, and likelihood of it going up? Percentage likelihood of it going down. Once it's gone up, what's the percentage likelihood of a throwback to prior resistance flip to support? This is what VIP, VIP is all about. Guys, excited to be back here with HQ. We're going to be building. We've got some additional things coming in this week. You guys know that. I appreciate all of you in the back. VIP strong, guys, 2022 and beyond. We're at Q4. I'd like the decoupling. You guys know this, but stay strong with this. In terms of FTX, any other fallout, we love the decoupling with the equities. Let's go. Let's let's do this, guys. Let's get even Wall Street a little bit sidetracked away from crypto. Let's do this. Guys, a lot of opportunity lies in lower levels. 
I don't want anyone to lose money. I am sad that anybody did lose money with this FTX debacle. What I will say is uh, VIP always with heavy cash reserves, less trade, way to trade Venus, way to go and will, brand new VIP, over a 200% return, boom, way to go my man, way to go, way to trade, that's VIP. Guys, we'll talk to you soon. This is London with Bitcoin Spike and we'll be trading in the back, great pickup on the four hourly and great pickup on that hourly. VIP returns in the house. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.